stupid idea because I couldn't sleep to wake up and go on a radio adventure. It's 5.40 in the morning and I am not a morning person that I cooked up in my head while I was laying there not being able to sleep at 5 in the morning. I don't understand how people can drink coffee boiling hot like it comes. I have no idea how people drink coffee hot and burn their tongue. That battery and Pelican case are probably the heaviest parts. Woo. I had to ride up a big hill to get here. Anyway, check out the sunrise. Let's take a look at the setup. I still don't like how long it takes me to set it up. Um, got the black counterpoise going just straight out there. This is very crude. Um, here, the problem with this antenna is that I, it's hard to get it up high and put tension on it because it will pull the radio off. It'll pull the radio off, and I don't want that. So I don't want to put a lot of it, uh, tension on this wire. So. What I did was I added a little tension relief here, which is something I need to add to this wire, I think. Some kind of tension relief. This is not good, I know that, but at least it'll pull this over instead of the radio when I add a little tension to it. Alright, uh, I've got that, and I also need banana plugs, because I someone told me that these will hold banana plugs. You can just put them right in there. Instead of having to unscrew that, I can just stick them in. Okay, yesterday... I mentioned in one of my other videos that I actually um, was overcharged when I bought this and so I went ahead, they, Elecraft was nice enough to tell me about it and I said well go ahead and just send me this and then I had to send like 30 more dollars and then I got the key here. I've never used it before. I kind of was worried that it might be like I have to hold my hand like that you know 
because I would actually want a key with it a little off. I'd want a key with it like that, you know, kind of at an angle. So um, that's my only concern about it. Seven oh five.
Okay, um, he was kind of in a hurry. Uh, he could barely hear me. I had to send my call over and over and over. Actually, I think he's in a contest, which is, I had no idea there'd be a contest in the morning. I'm real happy to make the contact. I need to write down the time. 6.30 a.m. Friday 2nd. I guess he's in a contest. He wanted my number, but I don't have one. Anyway, um, I'm happy to make the contact. I did it with a piece of wire. Um, it was a struggle. I need to get that up higher. Um, but I didn't make a contact. 10109. 10 uh, JH1HD. Uh, I'd like to get that like more vertical. But I'm happy to make any contact. So uh, let's see. Say hey, this key right here. I'm going to go up to 20 meters, I believe. Sometimes you have to hit the tuner twice. I wonder if this little curl right here affects it. My little tension relief thing. 1.3 1 to, 1 to 1. Let's see if we can beat that. 1, 2 to 1. Okay. Um, I have this little printout I made of the QRP calling frequency. 7030, 7035, 7040, 14030. I am going to call CQ and see what happens. I almost don't even want to try doing the USB phone because I just don't think anyone's going to hear me. I mean, I was barely heard doing CW. I might undo this loop over here and see if that tunes up better. I gotta tell you, this key is real smooth. Now this early in the morning, um, I don't hear anybody out there, so I actually don't expect anyone to call me. It'd be like a miracle. I'd be, I'd be happy about it, but I made one contact, and that, you know, all I need to do is make one contact to feel successful. That means I did it. I made a contact. Sure, I can make more, but just one contact tells me that um, I, I succeeded. I'll tell you, this, I, you can hear really well. I don't know about transmitting, but... Listen to that. Time.
Okay, um, here's what happened. That guy was really nice. Um, his name is Chris N8I AI. He was patient with me. He was going too fast for me. I was in over my head. Um, it was really fun, but I was like, oh crap. I basically gave up trying to write it, and I was just reading as much as I could from the, uh, the decoder on the KX2. So basically, at the end, I said, thanks. I hate to cut it short. Thank you. Um, send me an email on qrz.com. Thank you, 73 by. I try to keep it short. I don't want to be mean, but I am in over my head sometimes. And I just want to, you know, I'm, I'm learning, so I'm doing the best I can. Anyway, that was two contexts. I'm really happy. That last one was pretty fun. I just wish I could get better at this, you know? It just takes practice, though. It takes practice and courage. Seven seventeen a.m. Made two contacts. Check out that lady. She's got like uh, they're not rollerblades, but they look like a different kind of skate. Kind of cool. Um, everything goes in that bag. Uh, I still can get a lot more lightweight. I need a strain relief on my wire because otherwise it will pull the radio right off when I add tension to it. That's something I learned. I need to add a little piece, a little piece that. I can also hook into something like this and provide strain relief so when I add tension to the wire it won't pull the radio off. Um, I also need banana plugs so I don't have to unscrew. Um, that was really fun. I'm pretty happy that I'm able to get everything in this little pack. This one is kind of heavy with all this stuff but it has comes with a chair. Um, I talked about this in one of my last videos. I got this at Goodwill. I went to Goodwill looking for bags and I couldn't believe it when I saw this. Brand new, $3.95, $4 for this entire bag. It holds everything that I need. Um, I still, in some cases, would want to go lighter than this, but this one has a chair. So if you're, I was going to go to a field or something, this would be a great chair to sit on.